Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, you guys. We got Chipotle again today. I'm so excited. It's been a little bit since I've had Chipotle. I am just like over the moon excited. We have a quesarito. You guys know it's my favorite order whenever I go to Chipotle. Um, if you guys are interested in my order, it is, um, you, so you basically ask for a quesarito, which is a tortilla with cheese, and then they heat it up, and then they open up the tortilla, and all the cheese is melted and so good, and then they start putting all of the stuff that you want inside, then they roll it up. So every bite, you're gonna get like melted stringy cheese, and it's delicious. It's like the only way I will eat a burrito. It's absolutely delicious. So, oh my God, my burrito looks huge today. I also asked for a bowl on the side just so it like catches everything. Also, if your burrito ends up breaking apart, you can make a bowl, which is a very, very smart move. I also got chips here. I love their chips. Um, and then I got a drink and that's it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let's get started in my burrito today. I got uh, the same thing that I always get, whether I get a burrito or I get a bowl. Um, I get white rice, half steak, half chicken, mild, hot, corn, and extra, extra lettuce. If I'm asking for like a bowl that day and I don't feel like eating a burrito, I will ask them to start the bowl with shredded lettuce because I don't like their salad lettuce. I feel like sometimes the pieces aren't as good. So I always start with shredded lettuce. My burrito's very wet today because I got that mild sauce. But oh my gosh, you guys, let's take the first bite together, look! Okay, hang on. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. Mm. Wow. The chips are fresh. Bomb, bomb, bomb. They made everything perfect today. The meat is nicely seasoned. I always ask you guys what cheese they use because I always forget. When they have fresh chips, it changes everything. Oh my God. And the Coke hits. No, I got a stain on my shirt or my sweater already. Oh. This is hitting the spot so good. Mm. 
I don't know how they season their chicken and steak, but it is so good. Every time I try to like do like um, a copycat recipe online, it doesn't taste the same. Mm. The chips are good today, you guys. They're fresh. Wow. That is so good. Oh my God. The chips are nice and, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's very thin and crispy, like wonton chips today. Oh my god, you guys. Oh man. The steak is incredible. There is a person here and they're looking kind of sus, so. Hmm. I probably look sus too. Oh my God. Chasing every bite with a chip is like next level. Whoever made this steak today, wow. So good.
this is when it gets so difficult when you get to the bottom of the burrito it is so incredibly wide this is when i transfer it to the bowl it's just so hard ah! so hard to eat towards the bottom because all the sauce gets down there too this is usually when i start um getting my chips and i start scooping Mm. Mm. I cannot believe. Oh my god, that chip was extremely salty. I cannot believe that it's January. I was like telling everyone the other day, everyone is in people in my vlogs. <laughs> I felt like it was just January 2023. It's so weird to say 2024, you guys. I felt like it was just January 23. 2023 I feel like 2023 went by so fast for me it was like January blink summer blink Christmas done it just felt incredibly fast mm. so good I'm trying to like reminisce on my life after COVID. 2020 was COVID. I feel like that was such, I don't know. Sometimes I look back at 2020 and I know everyone has a different experience during that year because there was like a lot of things going on. The world was going through a really tough time, but there was also like the other side to it. There was like a there was, it was kind of like nice and calm to have a year where I kind of just felt like we didn't worry about the things that we were constantly worrying about all the time. Um, I mean, granted, there definitely was a lot of stress. <clears throat> there was a lot of stress, a lot of the unknowns. Um, it was very scary. And half the time, I think we were all very anxious about what the future was going to be like. A lot of people got sick. Um... You know, we lost a lot of people in 2020, so there was definitely that side of it. Um, but if we're looking at all angles, it was just kind of nice that the world kind of slowed down a little bit. And we all started to realize and appreciate the things that maybe we didn't or maybe we took for granted, you know, because we were too busy working or too busy caught up on other things in life so I really kind of do like that the world slowed down a little bit it was kind of nice you know it was really really nice especially if we live in California there was like no one on the road <laughs> it was really really nice um you know I'm also grateful for 2020 because the interest rates were so low uh we ended up buying a house and that's something that we're really grateful about um 2021 was such a great year for me. I truly loved 2021. It was filled with exciting things. Um, life was really good in 2021. 2022, I feel like it was an okay year. It wasn't as good, but it was just like okay. Um, and then 2023 was such a learning curve year for me. I learned a lot in 2023. Last year was just really all about figuring out where I want to be, you know, in the next 10 years and like planning ahead. And I don't know about this year. I mean, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are aiming for in 2024. I feel like 2024, um, things that I'm not going to do. These are the things that are out. I, I don't want to be <clears throat> like a workaholic. I feel like I work a lot and I'm constantly working and I'm constantly like working where I don't make time for the things that I love. Um, so I'm not saying that, oh, I'm going to be a lazy ass and not work. Um, I'm just saying, you know, take it slow. 
take in the moment, enjoy life. Um, if I miss a video, it's not the end of the world for me. Um, I want to prioritize spending quality time with my friends and family. Um, I don't want to feel guilty for taking a few days off if I needed for my mental health or just, like I said, prioritizing quality time with those who really matter to me. I think that like a lot of us, um, hopefully like a lot of us, I feel as if for me personally, I'm very work driven and I'm very money driven. Um, I don't know if maybe it's how I grew up and how I was raised, but not that I'm worried about not having money, but I tend to get very worried and anxious about the future. So in my head, I'm like, okay, well, I need to work because I don't know what the future holds. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I feel like maybe I got it from growing up in an immigrant family who was, you know, my mom's a very hard worker. She was a single mother of four. Uh, my sisters are, my sisters and my brother, they're all hardworking. And I think that my mom taught me how to worry, which is like so unfortunate. It's like a good and bad thing. I feel like people who worry ahead and like think about the future, it's like good and bad, right? Like it's good that we're like prepared and we have thought of every scenario possible. But then it's kind of bad because we like get very, really, really anxious. Um, and then we overthink and then we're like hard on ourselves and <clears throat> we can't enjoy the current life that we have because we're worrying about what if or the outcomes of the future. So something that I want to really focus on this year is get my shit done, get my work done, but really cut it off. Like one of the issues that I have is like I'm constantly working. So even if it's like eight or nine o'clock at night, I'm like on my computer answering emails, um, finishing up videos, things like that. And it's like, I want to do, you know, a schedule where like at five o'clock or six o'clock in the afternoon, everything stays in my office, I don't work, and I really spend that quality time with my husband and my dogs or focus on things that I love. Um, not just wake up, work, eat, sleep, wake up, work, eat, sleep, because I feel like that, you know, was kind of what I was taught to do. And I'm very grateful that I even have the luxury of even talking about this right now. I know that not a lot of people are in this um in this position and I don't, I never want to come off like I'm ungrateful or complaining because I'm definitely not. Um, I am extremely grateful for the life that I have and the job that I have. And, you know, even just like a piece of rice on my plate is something that I'm so grateful about. I'm very, very thankful for having a roof over my head and just everyone in our lives were healthy and we're good. Um, I count my blessings every day. Um, so I, I never want to come off like I'm complaining, but I guess I'm just like noticing patterns in my life that I could change to have a better mental health. Um, cause I think that I'm too hard on myself and I don't give myself enough credit. And I also like overthink things and it's so so bad if you are overthinkers I'm sure you know what I'm talking about so those are baby steps that I'm taking it's just so hard it's so hard when um I don't know like I said it's not like we don't have the like money saved up and we aren't making money it's just I don't know why I'm like always worried so far ahead like it, it, it has become such a habit of mine and I want to change it. Like, I feel like if I don't work, it's like the end of the world. Like, oh my God, what if something happens in the future and like we need this and that or, you know, um, I don't know. Like I said, I think my mom really just like gave me that part of her. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's something that I want to, you know, I just want to enjoy the current time. I have a really hard time staying within the current like present time um, because I'm always like 10 steps ahead and it's good to be a planner but then it takes away from like this moment you know but um like aside from that I think though I think those are like the things I want to focus on this year just like work wise also like in my personal life I want to 
not technically leave the house more because I'm a homebody. Like, I'm really, really good at being at home. I love, love being a homebody. Carlos and I both are very similar um, in that way. We just love staying home. But I do want to make effort, like, once or twice a month to make the drive to our mom's place and, like, spend the weekend there and, um, you know, maybe take, like, more, like, one-on-one -on -one trips, things like that. Um... I think those are like goals that I want to focus on. I don't want to put too many goals on the list because then I get overwhelmed easily and I won't accomplish anything. So those those are the things that I want to focus on a lot more. Um, I also, I don't know, this is my year, this is my 30th year alive. <laughs> I turned 30 a few months ago and so, oh my goodness, did you guys know that I made a mess? <gasps> oh my God, I made a mess down here. Um, this is my, you know, year to be 30, and I've heard that, like, your 30s are, like, the best years of your life because you've finished your 20s, you've established things in your life, and you kind of have a better mindset on things, so I'm just hoping that thir my 30s are going to be good, you know? I want to... I don't know. I just, <laughs> I want to, I want to be in a good spot in my life, which I feel like I am, but I think having a better control of my mindset and how I view personal life and, and my, my professional career would really help me out. Uh, let me know if you guys have any advice. If you guys are maybe self-employed or business owners, you know, there, I feel like a lot of you guys can relate where there's like a, a difficult line between um, personal and business because for me personally it gets kind of hard because my personal life is my business and so drawing that line can be a little bit difficult which I've been talking about this for years and years and years and I still have not found something that has helped me so I'm hoping this year maybe like cutting things off at like a proper time at night and really not touching work which would be so hard <laughs> for me at the beginning I think that'll really help um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are doing this year for your New Year's resolution. Um, I know it's such a good time to just like start new and start fresh and let go of things that just did not improve our lives last year. Um, but I'm actually going to go now. I have, um, I have to go to living spaces, which is like down the street before they close. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for having dinner with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment down below if you guys haven't already. Really appreciate you guys um, eating dinner with me because, or else I would have just ate dinner alone in my car watching TikTok or YouTube. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my loves.